Hey, welcome back to Cooking with the King. Today I'm just going to do some basic steaks and then I'm going to do some green beans with bacon. It's a new recipe that I found. You know, the king likes looking for those new recipes. So, what we're going to do first of all is I have some bacon already on the skillet, which I'm just trying to just, you know, just kind of brown them a little bit. I'll toss those. That's going to be in our green beans. So, you know, it's, I don't know. You know, you like bacon, but let's be honest, it's too fattening. So I might treat myself on an average of probably once a month to bacon, on an average. And I try to buy as lean as I can. Even the leanest portion has too much fat in it, as you know. Then I'm going to set my water here. I'm going to do one cup of water. The water's already in there. One cup of boiling water. I'm going to use my power booster to get that bad boy going quickly. In the meantime, King always says, gang, cleanliness, next godliness. Put some gloves on here get ready. Because I plan on chowing down. And if my wife does a good, good enough job filming me, she might be able to eat some of this stuff with me. Maybe. Perhaps. So, as I always say on all my shows, happy wife, happy life. So, I will have to share some of it. But in the meantime, let me just check out. See, now the water's already boiling. So, I'm going to toss these beans in. I'll stick them in there. Let them boil. We don't need to cover it. Now, remember this. If you say you don't know how to cook game, guess what you do? This is what it says. Stove top. One cup of water to boil. Add beans and cover pan. Steam four to six minutes. Now, how easy is that? Come on, let's be honest. It's pretty easy, right? All right. So, I'm going to take that bag, get rid of that. I'm going to put a lid on top of it. Good. And we're going to boil that roughly for about four to five minutes. And if, sometimes it seems like you don't have enough water. Don't worry about it. Just add a little bit more water to it. It's not that big of a deal. A little bit more water. Get that boiling. Now the bacon is looking pretty good here. So I'm take that bacon, turn it over a couple more times. I'm going to cook it just a little bit longer. I'm going to leave a little bit of the fat, not much of the fat, because I don't want all that fat. But it's good for flavoring. I'm going to take a couple of steaks that we already have cut, ready to go. Put a little olive oil on them, a little salt and pepper. And then we're going to be cooking good today. Right, cooking with the king. Some steaks. Yeah, the king likes some steaks. I like lamb. I like chicken. I like fish. I, I kind of like it all, as you guys probably know. So, gotta get, always got to get a little extra big one in there. You know, if you like me, if you, if you cook good, you're going to enjoy your leftovers, and I always tend to. So, I don't like any mess around, so we're going to dump that. All right. Get those. I like to just kind of fill my meat a little bit. I'll put a little pepper on there. Now a lot of times you see people sprinkling pepper on. I kind of, everybody does it a little differently. I don't really want to stick my hand in those jars because I already have stuff from the meat on them. So I just get a little pepper on there. Put a little salt in my hand too as well. I don't like a lot of salt, but it helps cooking with the meat. helps to tenderize it. So put a little bit more salt on there. Don't want to overdo it, gang. Ooh, that's a little too much. King says too much salt. See that gang? I'll pull that out. Toss it up. Don't need that. All right. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil. Put a little olive oil on there. Now in the meantime, remember this: you gotta always be alert. My bacon is done, so I'm gonna take the bacon out of the pan. I'm gonna put it on a napkin for right now. And I'll take this, take it off the heat. I'm going to take another napkin, I'm just going to kind of pad that dry just a little bit. Alright, that will be ready to go. Four to five minutes boiling on here. And it may seem, folks, like it takes a little work, but it really doesn't take that long to do this. So, you know, Even the people who help me out do the camera, man, they look like they think it's a lot of work, and they're just doing the camera. So can you imagine cooking? Alright, so, it's going to still boil like that. Got the oil on. I'm gonna roll that, rub that olive oil on. All right. Now, many of you know that I am a personal trainer, and so I've been up since about four something this morning. So, if I miss something here or there, forgive me. Yeah. Yep, that happens when you get up early and have those long days. So let's look pretty good right there. All right. Got a little thickness to it, a little fat for marinade. All right, gang, now that we got these nicely coated, we're going to take them, we're going to place them on my cast iron skillet. Always good to have. We're just going to sear it on there, so we're going to place those on there. 
hear that sound? That's what you want, okay? That's what you want. And then you want to make sure that you just leave them down. You don't want to pick them up and turn them. Just wait, let them sit for about three minutes, three or four minutes on each side. In the meantime, my beans, they're done. Okay, they're all done. But what I'm going to do with those is, I'm going to actually put them in some cold water. I'm going to drain the water first a little bit. Then I'm going to transfer them to cold water just to kind of chill them, all right? Especially with fresh beans, it actually helps to bring some of that color back, helps them actually keep their color, all right? So we're going to let those sit in there like that a little bit. You know, the wintertime, let's say, let the beans chill out just a little bit. So we'll chill out a little bit. And I'll tip that in there a little bit. Mix them in there. So the beans are in there. Now remember I said it's a new recipe. So I'm actually looking at this the way you went at home, guys, okay? Guys, you pick up the paper and you read. And ladies, some of you that don't cook, pick up the paper and read. You look at it, you, you chill it, let it chisel for a little bit. Then in the same skillet that you use, you want to put a little butter in there. A little butter, not a lot of butter, but a little butter. A little butter, see, a little butter. Stick that in that pan. And you're going to put about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, a teaspoon, I'm sorry, one teaspoon of brown sugar in there. Put that in there. Then let that caramelize a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil to that as well, okay? A little olive oil in there. Now, you hear the steak? That sound, I mean, that sound is... I remember the other day when I was cooking a ram, I was thinking, what a great, what a great sound. All right. Now, we're going to flip them. Now, you notice I'm using tongs? Because if you use a knife, what it does is it pierces it, so some of that liquid will drip out of the meat. It's going to stay more moist more tender, more juicy, all right? Now, don't eat it raw, because it sounds good. I mean, you're hungry, especially guys that work out. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna flip it. Good, and I like using these old cast iron skillets because the one I have has a nice little grill mark on it. So you look like you're barbecuing outside, Jim. All right, I got some nice, thick, big steaks here. I'm gonna flip those over. Now, in the meantime, I have leveled on boil. That's all set to go. So when those are done in about three or four minutes, I'm gonna actually stick them in the boiler and cook them roughly for probably about no more than maybe 10 minutes. You don't wanna overcook them, all right? Now I'm gonna take my beans, I've chilled them for a little bit, I'm gonna drain those, drain the beans. So those are nice and drained, good. I'm going to stick them in the pan here, stir them up. You know, folks, I don't know what sounds better, the sound of these green beans or the steak. Yeah, I'm going to be eating good tonight. How about you? Yeah. Cooking with the King, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm going to get those bad boys stirring up a little bit. I might add just a little garlic in there too. That will kind of give it just a little kick. Put a little garlic in there. And it's good if you have like garlic spreaders up. I don't have it, but you know what? I love me some garlic, folks. So I'm gonna kind of overdo it just a little bit. Because so I love garlic. If you love garlic, you love garlic, okay? Mix that in a little bit. That looks nice actually with the garlic. And now I'm gonna toss in my bacon, the bacon that I was cooking earlier. What I did is I chopped that up in little pieces, and you can chop up a little bit more if you want. Put that in there, mix that up. It's inside bleeding cleanliness. Where's that gonna go, folks? That's right in the sink. Your wife will love you for that. All right, stuff me on that one. Clean up. Yep. And let that stir a little bit. You don't want to overcook your beans. So that probably should be done, wouldn't you say, during about 30 seconds? Probably done. All right. My wife says they're done now, so I'm gonna actually shut that off. I'm going to put those off to the side. All right, when we get these ready, I'm going to bring the rack over here. And I'm going to coat my rack, I, that's just me, just a little bit before I put my steaks on. Just a little bit. All right. 
Now, maybe we can get a knife. I'm going to bring these over so that you can see them. Put those up bad boys on there, ready to go. All right, now I want you to get a really good look at that. Now, that's, we're going to have some good eating tonight. Healthy eating, a couple nice steaks there. All right, you looking at that? Yeah. Fit for a king and fit for a queen. All right. All right. I remember when I was a kid, I used to watch my three sons. In fact, I have three boys, so we have Mason <laughs> and Justin. You gotta have fun with these shows, folks. All right. So I think it's ready to go. We're gonna stick that into the boiler. Yeah, we'll put that up a little higher up there. It'll be fine. Set our timer. I'm doing the timer more as a reminder to check this in about 10 minutes. Put that bad boy on. And we're going to turn off the fire over here. And gang, we're going to be right back in about 10 minutes. And we're going to show you how good this looks. We're going to plate it. Then we're going to be ready to eat. All right. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. That gang, guess what time it is. That's right. Time to eat. All right. Time to eat. My wife's hungry. She's helping me. She's videotaping this right now. She wants me to take the steak out so we can eat. So I'm just going to make her wait a little bit. Are you ready to eat? Okay, all right. She's ready to eat. All right, so I'm going to take this out. All right. Ready to go. Ready to go. You see that? You see that? You see that? Now, we're ready to eat, right? That's what you think. But guess what you want to do? I'm going to stick this over here for a second. All right? Now, what you need to do is really cover that. Let that rest for a little bit so you don't let out all those juices. So that's what we're going to do. In the meantime, let me come over here and plate this up and get this ready. Yep. We got lady plate. Ladies not going to be fancy, so we got silver rim for her. Men, we're plain. We have just plain for us. All right. So let me stir this up a little bit. Don't that look good? Yeah. And good for you. Yeah. The king likes some greens, as they say. King and greens, that kind of rhymes. <laughs> i tell you what. <laughs> it's, it's cracking me up, folks, because, I mean, cooking is a blast. It's fun. It, I mean, it's making me laugh. It's making me chuckle. <laughs> My wife's laughing. And, you know, this is great for her because, I mean, she didn't have to cook. Every time you see, can you imagine this? Every single time you see a cooking show, that means she didn't have to cook. So I'm blessing her and she blesses me. So we just kind of bless each other. I'll put a little bit more greens on there and put some extra bacon on there for my wife. She likes bacon. So what woman doesn't like bacon, right? All right. So I'm going to put that down. We'll be back in about two minutes after that's already been sitting, resting, and we'll be ready to eat, gang. Be right back. Gang, we're back. As you can see, we're ready to go. And let me, let me, let me just try. I, gotta, I always got to try it out. Let me just try it out a little bit here. I like it. Let me cut into the steak a little bit. You know, you don't want it overdone. You want a little pink in there. Let it set a little bit. It reminds me of a television show I used to watch. Andrew Griffin. Do you remember Mayberry? He'd always say, good cracker. I say, good steak. Good steak. Folks, I want to thank you for watching Cooking with the King. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And we're going to see you next time. And maybe if you're lucky, I'll invite you over. You can maybe work a camera, get a bite to eat. And all that you do, stay fit, stay blessed. And remember this. Do not live to eat. Eat to live, gang. We'll see you next time.